So the manga takes place before the crash of the arc light. It's a prequel to where Firefall, the game, begins. We start with one girl who winds up in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, I think she's actually in the right place at the right time <laughs> because she's one of the survivors. Firefall is a big story. It's really a story about these key characters moving throughout the game. Pilgrim is actually going to be a central part of the story. She's a teenager, she's very impulsive. She gets the job done and she's efficient, but inside she's dealing with a lot of turmoil. She's rebelling against both parents simultaneously when she would actually just like to see them together. It's a very interesting dynamic and one that plays well with a lot of you know uh, Orson's themes in the past. Over the years when people have tr tried to figure out what works with my character Ender in Ender's game, is that it's that sense of isolation. It was really fun to kind of work with authors who, you know, written some of the stuff that you grew up with in your childhood and have it plugged into the Firefall story. It, it takes courage for the creators of a world to turn it over to somebody else and say, build whatever you want and we'll treat it as real. How did they end up getting to Fortaleza, Brazil? You know, why did the arc light crash? And all this stuff is tied into the story that the manga delivers. The artist at uh, Udon did an incredible job bringing it to life. I, I was blown away when I f saw the first episode. Joe Ng, who's doing the pencils on the book, just had a natural fit for what we're looking for. His style already screamed, you know, Firefall. He was, you know, very acclimated into doing the Street Fighter comic books. First of all, it's absolutely free. I mean, that's kind of a theme at Red 5. Everything is free. Uh, and we're going to be releasing about two pages a week uh, over a long sort of like uh, 80, 90 page manga that we're putting together total. It's a very cohesive world in Firefall, and I think that this is a great way to dive in and get familiar with it. We want this world to be a place where people want to come. And even though it's a terrible world and, you know, people are dying and a lot of people are already dead and, you know, you don't really want to live in this world, but you do want to come in and play in this world, be a hero in this world. They're the ones creating new realities. They're creating life.